What kinky sex act would you recommend everybody try at least once? IDK if I'd call it a kink exactly, but since my girlfriend and I are long distance, we have to get kind of creative to have a sex life. One thing we've been doing is recording ourselves masturbating while watching a video of the other person masturbating to the previous video they received. It sounds weird I'm sure, but there's nothing quite like busting a nut to a video of your girlfriend fingering herself while watching a video of you busting a nut. It's a real conception. Meet up at an agreed location, but pretend to be absolute strangers. Approach her like it's the first time. Different names. Different stories. Play the game like you've never met before and stay committed to the story. Go to an unfamiliar place afterwards. I'm telling you. Total electricity. Having sex and cuddling on the bed all day without even knowing what time and day it is. Don't care about finance, future, and class or work. Exploit the privilege of youth. Spend a whole day teasing each other first. Rent a hotel in the city with a room high up and in front of the giant window. It has a sense like you're about to fall off the building, but also that you are at the top of the world. Also while you're up there, give her some moral and make her feel like a queen. A sex drive is going to spike. Not really kinky, but if you're ever in a location on a hot summer night and it starts storming, raining, thunder outside, get outside, get naked and get busy a sap. Roleplay, 10 tenths would recommend. There's something empowering about dressing up specifically as a character, maid, librarian, secretary, construction worker, pizza delivery, rich board housewife, you boo, and acting out your role. Make it be like the cheesiest porn setup you can imagine, it's ridiculously fun. Light wrestling, extra points if you don't have to let HER asterisk get the upper hand. Blindfolded sensory play. Too many people think, kink is just leather, chains, and whips. But something I think everyone should do once is take turns with blindfolds, unless being blindfolded is a limit for you, and have the one who can still see just Explore the other's body. With hands, or toys, or other sensory objects, if you suspect your partner might like temperature play, try ice cubes or something warm. Bive them crazy with rich new sensations, find where they like those feelings most, and if that alone isn't getting them off, try just moving to normal foreplay and six, but with a blindfold still on. Sensory deprivation. Hands restrained blindfold on headphones with music. I'm sure this sounds familiar lol. I'd say outdoor quickie. Let her sit on your face, mmmph. Not super kinky, but roller play. It makes even the most vanilla sex feel like an entirely new experience. Edging. How has this not been said yet, or I missed it? Getting her naked, tying her to the bed and then playing the sparks for a couple hours. Blindfold and restraints. And spending a full week doing nothing but teasing and playing with each other before you actually have sex at week's end. Using a deck of cards make a list of all of the 13 face values, 2 ace, and 4 suits, H, D, S, C, and assign a sex act to each one, 17 in all. Taking turns. Draw one card to determine two sex acts, then draw another card that specifies the length of time in seconds. Your partner picks one of the two sex acts to do to you for that amount of time. There they go. Keep going to see if you can make it to the end of the deck. Be sure to use a timer on your phone or watch. Holding hands. I recommend walking around naked in your living room. Have a porn movie night. Watch a porn, but the rule is to not have sex until they do. The turn on knowing what's coming, and then being denied when the sex scene is over, and then having to wait again. Shower 6, so everyone can see how much it sucks. Only mildly kinky, but ice play is pretty fun. Whatever you're curious about. That thing you might watch in porn but aren't sure about actually trying. 
Every time I've done that, I've had a great time. Shibri. There's something about it that gets both of you going. Be slow and meticulous. The sincerity in asking if something is too tight or pinching gives a sense of comfort while slightly tugging on the pleasure knot reinstates dominance. You're not familiar with the pleasure knot look it up in a full body tie. It sits right at the clitoris and the slightest tug will give sensation. Only use rope meant for shivery. Would be cheap and get Lowe's or Home Depot rope it's not the same. Also, no matter the size of your junk, get a cock sleeve. Get the wildest most bumpy and contorted one you can find. You can swoop one off Etsy, but Dragon has them, but they take months to ship cause they are custom. You can use it on your own or pop your willy in their ass and slide the sleeve over an existing toy. Bam spit roast and DP fantasy fulfilled. I had a auto blow job machine that I'll stick a dildo in with the sleeve on and let it work her while I stimulate the titties and clit. Get creative my friends. I've always wanted to have sex with my boyfriend while other people have sex in the same room. Group sex. Both people get get high af right before the naughty, consenting, of course. Once you get over the ticklish feeling, having your ass ate is pretty sweet. Bondage and orgasm torture. Strap her down to the bed and leave a vibrator on full power for an hour, while teasing the rest of her body, or until she's shaking, and then f*** her. My last two partners couldn't speak or walk for a bit after, so we just cuddled. Or blindfolded for play in six, it's so hot. For straight guys, and I'm surprised this isn't already a top comment, prostate play. It doesn't hurt, don't have to get raw dogged by a strapper nor anything. A finger or small toy works just fine. It's not weird, it's not gross, it's not emasculating or shameful, and it's not gay, unless you want it to be carrot, and find a guy to help you out, it's a completely different kind of pleasure, you can come from just prostate stimulation, even the orgasm is a different kind of orgasm, and some people even enjoy it more than penile stimulation. Everyone deserves to at least understand what other kinds of sexual stimulation you're capable of experiencing, even if it doesn't turn out to be your thing. Do a little research and find out how to make sure you're clean, let yourself relax, and enjoy. You won't regret it. This, in my humble opinion, so much better when someone else is doing it to you. But even if you're lacking a sexual partner at the moment or not interested in them altogether you can still participate. I've done some kinky I've done some freaky and to this day one of the most mind-blowingly pleasurable and intense things I've ever experienced was getting a good blowjob and getting fingered at the same time. Being tied down to the bed depending on what you're into it can be hella fun. Try the Amazon position. Sleep sex slash pleasure of course it'd be consensual with the other person, but watching them them shift, and moan in their sleep, and then orgasm, and settle back down that so hot. Probably don't climb on top, unless you want them to wake up, or they have told you they want to wake up whilst you're going down on them. Electricity. Well, electrosex and estim, more accurately. It's the only thing, to deliver orgasms far stronger than vibrators. You can roughly force people to have orgasms if you send current through the right areas and play with the frequencies as many estim units let you do. You have literal superpowers one violet wand plus body contact probe lets you literally throw lightning from your fingers or anywhere else. So you can give electrified massages or electrified oral which is known to drive people wild. There's tricks like electrified fingering and then advanced techniques like electrified sex as well where you have a current running through you and a partner which is known to deliver the strongest orgasms one can have and be even more intense than even normal electricity play, which I can't imagine, having done normal estim, but that's why I want to do it someday. It's also unlike anything else, as the feel is impossible to describe, but you have electricity going through an area, convulsing and spasming muscles, externally and internally, which nothing else see in air do. It also triggers the nerves in that area, and the sensation is weird, but it's directly activating erogenous nerves, which is why orgasms build faster than you realize when doing this. Thus you can adjust the feel, 
frequency, more. And all that, where vibrators are only external. There's STEM boxes that let you play audio and music through them, so you'll essentially literally feel music running through you electrically there's a lot more. But Electrosex is the most underrated kink, and the most versatile. L. You can combine it with most other kinks. For example, sensation play anything you use, will have a conductive version which works with electricity. It's funny, if people understood how electricity will literally force orgasms. Well, some consider it cheating, and yet it'll spoil one, if they aren't careful. No matter your genitals, everyone should try electricity play. Not really swinging, but having sex in the same room as another couple is hot. You can be all the way across the room from each other, but their sounds making you and your partner even more horny, and knowing yours and your partner's sounds are doing the same to them, that's just sexy f. F*** at work. I'm a motorcycle mechanic and my old boss was a twat, I had keys to the shop so me and my gf on his toolbox. Every time he with me, I'd just look at that toolbox. My GF and I went out to lunch, and she wore one of my t-shirts as a dress. Just that t-shirt and a pair of sneakers. Nothing else. I swear I was so hard I could barely sit down. God, that was a good day. Erotic hypnosis. I'm a professionally trained hypnotist, and kink now dominates my sex life. There is nothing like it. Every guy I've ever been with ends up loving it, and I'm seriously considering making erotic hypnotism my full-time occupation. Sex outdoors, and definitely try in a changing room. Trying to be quiet, while both of you are about to explode. Not kinky but sucking It's just wonderful. Some people are against it, but masturbation is something maybe a curious person could try out at least once. Try it in a different place than usual bent over the counter, on the couch, standing in a door frame, shower etc. Find you someone who enjoys eating your ass, because it is fantastic. Here's looking at you, stud guys. Snorting coke off each other's genitals. Walking naked in forest. BDSM, even if it is light. Denial play and having to ask for permission. Once I'm finally told I'm allowed to orgasm my mind explodes, and I practically see God. Getting your butthole licked. Have vaginal intercourse, while a woman, while she is getting her clit licked. Feel her explode, when she reaches orgasm and watch her turn into a puddle. Impregnation. Who are baby? I think straight men should give receiving anal a try. Maybe start solo, and move up, if you like it. Bondage. Role play a specific sexual experience you wish you could have had with your so. Put your mouth on these boobs man. Being emotionally validated. I know. No need to tell me. Analingus 69, stoned, obviously after a shower. Getting a romantic partner that you care for is very kinky, from what I have heard. I think everyone with a prostate should consider messing around with it lol. Getting fingered and eaten in asterisk all holes.